Hi everybody, I'm Derek. I'm Ryan. And uh, our decentralized app is a solution to a lack of true ownership in in-game items. Currently, the online video game item market is worth $50 billion, with some items going for as much as $6 million. With such high value assets, there is a need for uh, verified ownership of items. In the current model, 1 in 7.5 virtual items are lost to either fraud or software glitches, and all current items in a game disappear once the game goes offline. Furthermore, because developers rarely make money off sale of paid items, they often ban trade, leading to a huge black market that creates a toxic playing environment and often leads to users getting banned. Our solution is non-fungible tokens. By using the blockchain, we can guarantee a permanent safe storage of items that exist in a user's wallet regardless of the state of the game. Furthermore, the nature of tokens allows users to be protected from fraudulent trade, removes the possibility of software glitches, and also allows developers to put royalties on trade, therefore regulating it or sometimes even banning it outright. Um, by doing such, they can remove the presence of a black market. How it works is each player has their own wallet, and each time they are rewarded an item in the game, a new token is minted for that item. The metadata of the token contains the item stats or information, and the developer pays the gas to send it to the wallet. In order to make this easier on the developer, we are shipping out a Docker server, and um, tokens can be minted and sent with a simple HTTP GET method. So let's go through what this actually looks like for both the player and the developer. So let's start off by saying I play video games, so I want to see what items I have. So I go to our site, I put in my address into the site, and it turns out I don't have any items yet. So I'm going to go get one. I'm going to play my favorite game. It's called Square Mover. Uh, in Square Mover, I play as a blue square, and I need to move that square uh, to the other side of the screen. So I move my square over, and I've won the game. It was a great achievement, and the game, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, and the game is going to award me with a new item for it. So I can go back to that main page, put in my address again, and Square Mover has given me the champion's hat. So I can go back into the game and see what this looks like from the game perspective. I hop in, the game loads, and as you can see, I have a beautiful red hat on my character now. The game actually read my wallet and determined that I own this hat, and it was able to give me the prize as a result. Now, for the developer, uh, it's very simple to create these new items and deliver them to users. So going back to the site, go to the Manage Games tab, and if I want to create a new game, let's say I'm the developer of Square Mover, I want to make it SQL Square Mover 2, I just register a new game and that associates that game's name with my wallet address. Now if I want to uh, add a new item to the game that I can give to players, I just type it in here. In this case, I want to create a new kind of hat to give to players in the SQL, and I create that item. Now to actually deliver it to users, it's equally simple. All I have to do is in my game code, uh, when I want to give the item to a player, I just make a simple uh, HTTP request uh, saying that I want to deliver a particular item, in this case with ID 5, to a particular player's address. And then that will trigger the smart contract using the Docker server we allow um, developers to deploy, and the item will be delivered, and then the game will be able to recognize that and behave accordingly. So by representing items, we can also represent achievements and game checkpoints, and therefore can transparently show a player's skill, you know, how far have they gone in the game, how good are they at it. But perhaps more importantly is that by representing games out, items outside of a game, um, in the future we can promote parallelization between games and collaboration such that items in one game might be used in another game. Um, you know, maybe in the future we can expand this to other things, but the potential of storing uh, items that were once limited to a platform outside of the platform is pretty huge. Thank you. Thank you.